Hi guys, welcome back to another video. It has been a little while since I filmed a get ready with me or any sort of makeup look. So that is what I'm gonna be doing today. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous summer day out and I just wanted to do a really summery look. As always, I'm gonna be using clean beauty products. So I'm gonna do some skincare to prep my skin. I'm gonna do my makeup and show you my go-to makeup look because this is really the only makeup look that I do anymore. And then I'll also show you my outfit. Okay, so we are gonna start off with some skincare. I have the Blue Beautifly Rose Hyaluronic Serum. I've already washed my face today. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of this. It helps hydrate the skin and it's so nice and light and lovely, especially for the summertime. And then I have the Blue Beautifly Goji Berry Moisturizer. I'm gonna put two pumps of that on. And you'll see that for skincare, I'm using a lot of Blue Beautifly because that's what I use. Um, it is my favorite, favorite skincare line. Clean, natural, organic ingredients, and it just works really well for my skin. So I'd say my two favorite brands for skincare are definitely Blue Beautifly and Fit Glow Beauty. And then I'm gonna protect my face with some sunscreen. So this is the Fit Glow Beauty Vita Shield Plum Hyaluronic Primer SPF 30. This is a non-nanoized zinc oxide based sunscreen. I'm gonna put a couple pumps of that and just apply that to my skin. And then this is very exciting. Blue Beautify released this new lip balm. This is their organic beet lip balm. And look how beautiful that color is. It has beetroot extract and alkanet root extract, which gives it this gorgeous color. And it's got all sorts of beautiful oils like jojoba oil and castor oil to just moisturize the lips it comes in this really nice glass packaging and you get so much product when you buy it you get two in a package so i just keep one in my purse and then one in my bathroom and it's scented with organic peppermint oil so this is my new favorite lip balm i'm gonna start with my base so i'll put a little bit of foundation on i'm trying to decide between using the well people stick foundation in 2w or the fit glow beauty foundation in f 2.5 maybe i will do the fit glow beauty I'm just gonna go like that i'm not sure how i like this stick applicator i like that for um concealer but i don't know how i like it for foundation take it down the neckline there we go my face is always 10 shades lighter than the rest of my body because with my body i'm always out in the sun I'm always walking the seawall so my body is just a lot darker than my face because my face i wear sunscreen and i wear a hat usually but that's okay we'll bronze it up with a little bit of blush and then I'm going to put on some, there is hair wrapped around everything, I swear. So anybody with long hair just get hair in all their products. I'm sorry if that's disgusting to you, but that is the reality of having long hair. So I'm going to um, put a little bit under my eyes, get rid of those dark circles. And then I'm gonna put a tiny bit right here because I don't know if you can see that, but I actually have a little bit of a scar that I'm healing right here. And it's not because of a pimple. It is because I smashed my head into a rock. I was down visiting my boyfriend, Will, and we went on this amazing, beautiful hike. It was a crazy hike. We were basically 70 feet up, going across this cliff face. There was a swarm of bees 
all this crazy stuff happened. Um, it was just a crazy experience. And we finally made it to this old mine that we were trying to get to. I felt like I had accomplished this big feat. And then I went to crouch down next to him to give him a kiss or something. And I bonked my head into a rock and I couldn't see myself, but I could feel it. And he just like started pouring water on my head and started to um, press the wound. And it was just crazy, you guys. We made it to the we top of the it. dawn mine. That was freaky. That was crazy. But we did it. We put feet up, we did it together. Mm -hmm. The whole journey has been just that journey. Mm -hmm. A metaphor mm -hmm. for life. Update. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she hit her head on a rock. And uh, we're gonna let it start clotting with that blood. We'll just let it cake over. It's better not scar. I'd be more worried about falling. It could have been so much worse. <laughs> She's wearing it like a badge of honor now, <laughs> baby. Look at that. Bee sting. I got the cuts all <laughs> over my yeah. arms. Uh, and got that, but... Just got that. Mm. You know what? But we did it. It was dangerous. It was literally it. treacherous and dangerous. Yeah. And we did it. But you helped guide me, so thank you. I couldn't have done it without you. Listen, without the masculine guiding, the free spirit of feminine, <laughs> I don't know. We wouldn't have been able to get through it, but we did. <laughs> we calmed each other's central nervous system, <laughs> literally leaning into the vibration of our masculine and feminine energy, ebbing and flowing into <laughs> either one. It's not to say that I'm always masculine and she's always feminine. It we, we were ebbing and flowing just ebb and like flow. that river. Just like the river. Just like the river, we were ebbing We and ebb and flow. She bleeds. <laughs> and I have a bee sting. <laughs> and... <laughs> so that's how I got a little scar on my forehead. So I've just been kind of babying it. And I definitely, definitely want you guys to meet Will. I never knew if I wanted to share a relationship online but this man is the most amazing man in the world so i just want you guys to meet him so i hope to do a video with him soon i think you guys are gonna love him next we are gonna do eyebrows so i have the plume science beauty eyebrow pencil in ashy daybreak this is my favorite eyebrow product and i'm just going to kind of fill in a little bit of my eyebrows make them look a little bit fuller because they do have a little bit of patchy areas so i just kind of do a tiny bit right here but i try to keep this um area very minimal and then i just kind of draw right up here this pencil is my favorite it is my holy grail eyebrow pencil the only thing i don't like is it doesn't last very long if you buy their pomade it lasts a lifetime but when you buy this pencil i go through about one a month it's kind of crazy but they always have really good sales on and then i'm going to use the plume science nourish and set brow gel and these brow products contain ingredients that actually help your brows grow so I think that's very cool. This is just the clear one. You guys, I think that the skin smoothing setting on my camera is on. I just turned that off so you can see me. So I wanna do a liquid liner cat eye. I'm using the Ilia Beauty Clean Liquid Liner in black. And I'm just going to do a little cat eye. Hopefully that is even. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of mascara. This is the Fit Glow Beauty Good Lash Mascara in brown. I have been liking brown mascara more than black. I just find it looks more natural. And this mascara is cool because it has 
a, a comb and a little brush. So you can either use it for lengthening or volume. So for my lips, my favorite lip liner is the Fit Glow Beauty Lip Liner in Buff. I can't tell you how many of these I have gone through. It is the perfect shade. It is like my lips, but better. And they also have the Cloud Collagen Lipstick in the same shade buff. So I'm gonna be using this on my lips and as my blush, very multi-purpose. And then I have the lipstick. It smells so good. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of the lipstick on. I mean, you don't, almost don't even need it with the... And then I'm gonna pop a little bit onto my cheeks. I can put a dot here, a dot there. There we go. So that is the makeup look. I'll do a little close up. And now I will do my hair. So this is kind of my go-to hairstyle. I feel like it's very, I'm very classy, but simple and protective on the hair. I am still growing out my bangs. So what I do is I just part my bangs down the middle and brush them like that. And then I secure it with a ponytail. And then I take my hair to the side. I divide it into three and I do a little braiding. What I'm gonna do is I have this little hair accessory that my mom bought me a long time ago, but it matches all my gold jewelry. So I'm going to use this to secure the bottom of my hair. there we go all right guys so this is the final look do a little spin for you this is my dream summer dress it is the cult guy camera dress and the moment i saw this dress i fell in love with it but it is pretty pricey so i just kept scanning ebay for months and months waiting for someone to sell it in my size and finally someone was selling it and made an offer and they accepted and now the dress is mine so i really love it it's made with this kind of cotton woven material really nice for the summertime i love the back i love the front i love everything about it and i love pairing it with some gold jewelry so i have my classic big thick gold hoops on which i pretty much wear every day it just enhances any outfit and then these are from Katori Life this is the serpent bangle snake bangle and then this beautiful sun ring and I think it just completes the look also with my matching gold hair thing I'll show you a little farther away shot So that is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed getting ready with me. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye!